let's talk about things that you can do while you have all this time at home during this coronavirus to tap into your higher self and to shift the energy around your space, wherever that might be, around your whole house, individual rooms, outside. There's so many things you can do that you may have always wanted to do, but just never find the time or weren't really sure or thought things were maybe too difficult to do. So I'm going to just show you a few things that I like to do that are very simple and they always help me to really feel my connection even stronger. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong, and we're gonna talk about a few of these things that I love to do to connect with my higher self, to just shift the energy within the space that I am in, um, around myself, so that I can really feel that, you know, move away from all that fear and all that stuff going on outside of me to just tune in to my truth, to my spiritual being, nothing to do with this physical reality or as little as possible, put it that way. Really wanna expand your consciousness and uh, what a better time to do it than when you're kind of stuck at home, at least most of us are um, through this self-quarantine phase of this virus that's going out there. So um, let's see. So for me, well, well first let's talk about, um, okay, so an easy way to get in tune with your higher self. So if you're not sure how to make that connection, you don't feel like you receive messages, or you don't even know where to start to receive messages, you can get yourself a pendulum, right? I have some old videos I made years and years and years ago uh, on how to work with a pendulum. So I'll just go quickly though with, so you find one that you like. So for me, you know, I, I just love using crystals. So that's what mine's all about. So the easiest way to do this I like to take my hand and place the crystal over it, right? So you always want to ask for a yes or a no. And your directions may change. I've had that happen before where I'm asking a question and the answer just totally didn't make any sense. So I rechecked my directions and found that they had shifted. So I like to check my directions often or maybe even every time you use it. So I'll ask the crystal, show me yes. Okay, now it's going the length of my hand. I don't know if you can tell that very well on it. See, it's going up and down the length of my hand. Okay, thank you. So I always like to thank it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna ask it to show me no. And my no is going sideways, back and forth, back and forth, the width of my hand. Now, I mean, you could ask it maybe, but I always try to ask questions that are only a yes or a no, but why not know what a maybe is, right? So I'll ask what it, uh, show me maybe. And it's giving me a circle, right? Okay, thank you. So I know that my yes is the length of my hand, uh, my no is the width of my hand, and a maybe is a circle. So then you can just ask it questions, right? So, uh, well, I'm not gonna get into that because then this video will go really, really long. But that's something you can do. Find it for yourself. Now, this I have this on me all the time especially since it is a crystal, it's really in tune with my energy field. So I can trust it for answers and I'll ask it. I could be in a store shopping for something and can't make up my mind of which thing to get. So I'll ask the crystal to give me a yes over the item that would be the best for me to get at this moment in time. And then I'll get the yes and then I'll go. <laughs> makes shop. I don't like to shop, so it makes shopping easier for me. Um, okay, so that's using the pendulum. Now there's something called an etheric weaver. This has copper and magnets on it. Okay, so the way I like to do this, you can do this uh, for distance healing for people. You can do it just to, just to work on your own energy field. And if I'm doing, if I have a person in front of me, I'll just hold this above the person and it, the, it'll just do whatever it's gonna do. It never does the same thing. There's no right or wrong, no yes or no. It just will move until it's done working on your energy field, right? So I also have a bowl. So when I do this in, for distance healings for people, so like here, I have my mom, right? I'll put her name on a card. I like to put it in my Flower of Life copper bowl. And then I'll hold it above her 
and I'll just ask for healing, you know, whatever is for Anna's highest and best good at this time. I'll hold it over it. In fact, why don't we do that right now? And we'll see what the crystal does. So I'm going to hold it up for the camera. All right. So I'm going to ask, ask it for a healing for my mom or whatever's for high, her highest and best good at this moment. And I'm not going to move my arm or my hand at all, at least not consciously. And right now it's moving uh, pretty much for actually her, the way her na name is on it. It's moving sideways across her name on that little heart that I, that I wrote her name on. And it may do this, if this doesn't go on for a long time, I might have to end it early, but it may do this for a while and then it will slow down and you might even think it's gonna stop. And if it looks like it's gonna stop, I ask, is there anything more? And then it, it usually always moves into another direction. But I've learned just to be patient with it and to, um, like right now it's slowing down, right? So we're just gonna see what it does. It may stop completely or it might just move into another direction, which it's doing, right? It's moving into another direction. So I'm not gonna keep going with this because I don't know how long it's gonna go. I'll have to um, complete her healing after this video. Um, so I'm just gonna ask that we end right now. We come back to this later. And look, see, it just slows down because you know everything has consciousness and you can communicate with things. So the nice thing about the copper and the magnets and the crystal it's working to heal whatever is going on within her energy field because energy knows no time and space. It just goes where you intend it to. So I asked it. I put you know, my mom's name on a card. Of course, I like to use hearts and put it in the bowl. And so that's that. Um, okay, so that's pretty cool. There's something else. I didn't have it here with me. It's at my um, office space and it's called Lodestone but you get a naturally magnetic piece of lodestone. It's just a gray looking rock. It has to be lodestone and naturally magnetic. So you'll find out if it's magnetic by taking a paper clip or something and seeing if it gets drawn to it. Um, you wrap it in string, you hold it just like a pendulum and that you move around your body. You just kind of move it and allow it to do a little circle or whatever it's gonna do all up and down your body. And what that's doing is it's just sealing up any like rips or tears or little openings within your your field within your aura um so that's kind of fun so let's see what else was i going to talk about today okay so even um so so that's things you can do for getting answers for communicating with your higher self of course or always you could meditate but if that doesn't seem natural to you or you feel like you're not getting anywhere with that don't force it Try something else. That's why the pendulum is so easy. You you always can get, you know, give it, give it, ask it a bunch of questions. They have to be yes and no questions. Ask it things that you know, like it's raining today. Is it raining today? If you get a yes and it's raining, you know it's correct, right? Uh, ask it, I you know, say I live in New York State, you know, and see what it see what it gives you. So you'll find your way with the pendulum very easy, and then you're just communicating really with your higher self. Ask will this work for me to communicate with my higher self? I'm sure you're going to get a yes. Okay. And then you ask questions. Remember they have to be yes and no questions. Um, okay. We did some things on clearing your aura field, your energy field. I like to use, oh, what do I have here? Sage, right? So I, I like to have a shell so that I can hold under it because the sage, you know, little bits will fall off of it while you're walking around clearing space within your field. Now I used to think like when I used to clear, when I first learned about this to clear all my, cause I have crystals all over my house that I had to have the smoke come in contact with the crystal, but you don't. Okay. What this does is it releases negative ions into the air, sort of like how after a thunderstorm or a big storm, you go outside and everything's quiet and everything's so fresh. It's because of all those negative ions that were just put into the atmosphere. So that's what this does. So the smoke doesn't have to come in contact with the crystals in case you thought it did. You just move it around your space, right? Um, I like to crack a little window open. So for me, it's like it's putting, changing all the energy within here and I'm allowing the negative energies to just, if they're not dissolving, to go out the window and to leave. It's just nice to have a little open air source while you're doing it. Also, there's um, holy wood. Uh, what is it called? 
Palo Alto wood. This this is awesome, and this smells really like the sage. I can't use that at my karate school because it does smell a bit like um, pot, and so you know I don't want parents bringing their kids to our school smelling thinking it's smelling like pot when it's sage. I'll use holy wood, and I just love the smell of this as well. So you can you can do that. That clears the energy within your room, within your house. You can go from, you know, around all the windows, up and around the doors, around the, the edges, over crystals, furniture, whatever you want to do. Be creative. Have fun with it. Like you make a little ceremony out of it. Because as you do that, your energy starts lifting and you start feeling, really, you start feeling your connection to the everything which is pretty fantastic. You know, you'll feel bigger. You might even feel taller. Sometimes I do this, I feel like I'm taller, like I got really tall. <laughs> of course, I didn't get tall, right? But my energy has lifted and expanded so much that it feels that way. Um, what are the things that I bring out here to show you? Okay, so you can use sound. Um, this is a metal ball. I, I, I think my next thing to get are some crystal bowls. And so, you know, again, sound. So you can just go around. Oh, hold, let me hold it this way, sorry. And start magnifying this sound. It's, I don't know if it's so good in my hand. It was really loud before, here we go. And I haven't done this for a while, so my technique is not as good as it was. But that's really cool. And that sound changes the energy within a room too. And you can buy bowls of all different um, measurements of sound. It's measure sound for each of the different chakras even. I don't recall what this one is, um, but I love it and I use it whenever I feel like it, whenever I feel dry. I might be getting dusty on a shelf for a couple of months before I use it again, but I just have all these little tools just hanging out so that whenever the mood strikes me, I can use it. And now it's just a perfect time because we're kind of stuck here. Why not be creative working with energy? Especially since, and I think I'll do this in another video, uh, you may be noticing, yeah, I'll do this in another video. You may be noticing how some energies are coming up for you and you find yourself reacting and acting to even the silliest little thing in a way that's feeling so dramatic. And you realize, if you, if you can think about it, how it's totally tied to another experience. It reminds you of something that happened a while ago and you're like, oh my God. It's because this energy is coming up to be cleared. This is a time right now for us to all tune in with ourselves, right? We can't go out there and do the things we normally would do, at least not with a whole lot of people anyway. Um, so it's a time to really focus within because there are gonna be some huge changes taking place. This is all part of this huge awakening of the planet and of all of us living on it. Um, so another thing you can do to lift your spirits and to change the energy is to do creative things. So I was, my latest thing I was doing, you know, I've been doing these uh, blocks, right? And I have different words, that one's peace, love, shine, what do we have? inspire, um, create, and joy, joy. So this, that's what this cube is. And it's fun, I'll just like toss it in the air, catch it and see like what, what shows, shine, shine. So let's shine our light today, right? So to lift my spirits again, another thing you can do, artwork. So, you know, I had my son cut out of his, from his laser, he's a laser cutter. And so he cut out words for me like peace and I paint them all different ways. And uh, these are going up on my Etsy store. What do we have? Love, this one, right? And uh, here's a big joy. I got little ones. See, I haven't painted these yet. These are all, these are projects I could be doing that now I have all this time to work on, right? So let's see. Joy, yep, yeah. that's cool. So do crafty stuff, do things that you enjoy to do. Um, because sometimes it's hard for you to figure out why your energy is dipping so much. And if you have that TV on, listen to the news, you're definitely going to be in fear. So like turn that thing off um, and you can you know, get some Oracle decks because this stuff's easy to buy right now. 
some things are easy to get and some things are hard to get. Like all of these tools, you could probably buy them easily anywhere and have them delivered to your house um, as opposed to things like toilet paper. Can't get that anywhere. Um, and let's see, I think that's it for this video. So crystals, you know, this little guy, he wanted to pop out and um, you know, they're just fun. They just, you know, have it in your pocket. Like I've got crystals that are in my bed with me. Okay, this is a beautiful black obsidian. This one I like to have whenever I'm doing, um, you know, whenever I'm working with people, I just like to tune in with this beautiful quartz and have it on my lap while I'm working. Um, there's just so many, you know, like I have all kinds of things laying around. <laughs> you know, like my desk is covered with tons of these things. So I won't pull them all up here right now. Uh, I'll show you this one though. You are enough. Get that through your head. You're enough exactly as you are. Take this time to figure out what do you really want to do, right? There's big changes. Things are changing. And it's a time to really start living. You know, my website, lovemylife.coach. It's really time to love your life and do what you enjoy. So having to be home, tuning into yourself, it starts to put things into perspective as to what do I want to do with the rest of my life? I don't care how old you are. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? You can always change it because we have new choices. In every moment, we can make a new choice. There's always new possibilities. And so how does it get any better than that? And that's what I'll leave you with. Um, subscribe, like, share. And I'll see you on another video. Bye for now.